Next, we have differential configuration. In this configuration, here input is applied to both the terminals that is inverting terminal as well as the non-inverting terminal. Here, input voltage VA is applied to the inverting terminal and VB is applied to the non-inverting terminal. And we can find that all the external resistances except the load resistance is equal to R ohm. And we can write the output voltage as equal to minus the gain is equal to RF by R1. Both are equal to R, so it will be R by R into the input voltage will be amplified by the difference in the input voltage will be amplified by the op amp so it is equal to va minus vp so this v naught will be equal to vb minus va this is nothing but the difference in the input voltages hence the name subtractor and next we have summing amplifier there is only one modification that is made to this circuit in order to get the circuit that is additional voltage input voltage sources are added to both inverting as well as non-inverting terminals so you can find here at the non-inverting terminal we are applying va and vb as the input voltages and at the non-inverting terminal we are applying vc and vd as the input voltages and we will find that the output voltage is equal to minus VA minus VB plus VC plus VD. This is nothing but negative sum of the input voltages that is applied to the inverting terminal in addition with the sum of the voltages VC and VD applied to the non-inverting terminal. We will see how we got this expression. So first we need to find the output voltage due to VA alone. Next, we'll find output voltage due to VB alone. Next, we'll find output voltage due to VC alone. And last, we'll find output voltage due to VD alone. So like this, we'll consider only single input voltage at a time and we'll find the equation of output voltage due to the single input voltage so first we'll consider the output voltage due to va alone in that circumstance all the other input voltages will be grounded so consider this part and this part i'll rewrite it as shown here see here v b is grounded so this is implying that and vc and vd are also grounded so vc and vd are grounded and this r resistor is written as it is and now all the other part of the configuration remain same so here we only va is applied to the inverting terminal. So this amplifier will behave as an inverting amplifier. So now the output voltage of this will be equal to minus RF by R1 into the input voltage. So RF and R1 both are equal to R and the input voltage is VA. So the output voltage due to input voltage VA is represented as VOA and it is equal to minus VA. Name this as equation 1. Now, consider applying input voltage VB alone, wherein VA, VC and VD are grounded and rewrite the circuit. So, here you will get VB and all the other part of the circuit will remain the same and you will get the output voltage due to VB alone, V. OB subscript as equal to minus VP. Name this as equation 2. I want you to write the circuit tree when VB alone is applied. And next, now we consider the output voltage by applying VA and VB alone. 
now we'll consider vc up only applied wherein vb va and vd are grounded so consider only this part okay consider only this part since this will be grounded so this these two resistances will be in parallel combination and i've written it here and they are grounded and now i have applied only vc okay to the non inverting terminal so now the amplifier is the non inverting amplifier and now i will find out the potential at the non inverting terminal as equal to v1 is equal to vc into the parallel combination of r and r divided by the series combination of this whole thing and this resistor r because the input current to the ideal op amp is zero now i'll upon simplification i'll find that v1 is equal to vc by 3 and now the output voltage due to vc alone is v subscript oc that is equal to 1 plus rf by r1 into the input voltage is here v1 the input voltage is this and not vc because v1 is amplified by the op amp and not vc so input voltage is v1 what is v1 equal to vc by 3 you are going to substitute that later so first this parallel combination of this is r by 2 and upon substituting the value of v1 as vc by 3 you will get voc is equal to vc name that as equation 3 similarly output voltage due to vd alone you will get as vd and by using superposition theorem the output voltage is equal to the sum of output voltage due to va alone plus output voltage due to vb alone plus output voltage due to vc alone and last output voltage due to vd alone so this is equal to by using equation 1 2 and 3 and 4 you will get v not as equal to minus va minus vb plus vc plus vd this is nothing but negative symbol with the sum of voltages input voltages va and vb applied to the inverting terminal inverting terminal okay v and vb and the sum of input voltages vc and vd applied to the non inverting terminal see vc and vd are applied to the non inverting terminal so this is the output voltage for the differential amplifier that acts as a summing amplifier and now you have a problem to solve i want you to solve this problem and in the next session we'll study about the ac and dc amplifiers thank you